I say, where are those carrots? And with that, we're going to start our tour of all of oddments. And there's the response by the elf. Here we are, we're on Lock Street South, which is a uh, bit of a busy area. Olives has been here a long time. And it's, uh, held on. And we're going to take a tour vicariously for you. As we enter, there's a set of stairs heading down. In this case, I actually went downstairs first. Once you get downstairs, there is a lovely collection of vintage. There's also items all along the way in the stairs. And uh, vintage, antique, and I think there's some contemporary items as well. But they all work together very, very nicely. It's not a big area in the base, in the lower level. You might call it a basement. Uh, the upper, the street level is uh, much larger, but it's packed with all kinds of lovely goodies and items that you just may want to pick up. Great decor pieces. There are some collectibles. There are some vintage items that uh, vintage and antique items that would complement a an ongoing collection and here you see some of the more contemporary items but like I said they seem to really nicely work in it's a lovely space Nice to walk around in. I uh, wouldn't want to put very many people in there at one time, but it is comfortable otherwise. A broad spectrum of uh, interesting items. There's uh, one of the longer portions on this video is this area downstairs. It includes the portion where the, the rabbits, and there's more than one, are on display for your viewing pleasure so that you can obtain them. There is a nice old light. I think it was candled although it may have been converted to electricity. Yeah, that one's got electricity in it, but it may have been operated by candle originally. Either it was in a very large space or it was outside of a carriage entrance in an older structure. Maybe a reproduction. So there was plenty to look at down here. There's one of the, this one's a hare, or that one's a rabbit. There's hares there as well. Um, they're more contemporary, but the style in which they were done is very lovely. And they've got uh, some lavender as well. That was a hare and a, a rabbit and a fox or something in that brass bowl with the lavender. Plenty of interesting items to look at. Uh, 
and some items are marked down. I think those recorded media were marked down. I don't know. If, I think they may have been CDs or DVDs rather than CDs. But we do get some of the depression glass, some china down here. Little bits of statuary. Make figurines. And then we get upstairs, we find hats and lotions in the window. Folks walking outside. I believe these are artworks and out LPs. Moving out from the window, the front showcase window at the front of the store, we get into some of the other objects along the sides. Fire department button for a wall. And we're still in the front window area. It's a fairly wide window, as you saw from the outside. And they have a whole bunch of different type of items in that window. A fairly busy location. The street is active. The store has uh, a nice ambiance. Folks come in and go out. There's always someone obtaining something. There you see some of the depression glass in the back. They will see more of that. They also have some jewelry, vintage, I, I expect. The rings. Toys. Some of it to me is contemporary, but uh, I realize that they are out of production on these particular items, so they become a collector or a vintage item. Nice sets of uh, chinaware and a number of different patterns were available. There's some clothing. I suspect that they're vintage. If they're not true vintage, then they are certainly vintage styled. These socks are absolutely uh, contemporary, humorous, I might say. They have some other items that are contemporary, but as I said, they've got a a selection that they all fit into one another. They're appropriate for for each other. They complement each other. Well, here we get some uh, crystal as well. Sunglasses. Now, I don't think these are. I think these are contemporary, but I, I could be wrong. And there you see some more of the china. And the collector plates, they put them up on the wall. There was a number of companies that created those uh, so-called collector plates. There are pieces, there were nice artwork in ma most cases, but uh, they were trying to create a market that wasn't there. I'm sure they're still operating in some way, shape, or form. Teacups and saucers, there's always someone who likes those. This was at the, uh, there's a f three, four steps to go from the street level to the back portion. And he was your greeter there along the way. Some more china. 
We may see this one again from the other angle. So you could, I think you, they were most likely sold as a set, but there are some pieces they would sell separately. I think there's a selection of walking sticks as well there. Here we're getting into some of the uh, depression glass. There's, uh, they've color grouped them and I suspect they're, some of them may be uranium glass as well. So, not all, some uranium glass is colored, some is not, most of it isn't. going through into the this uh, slightly raised podium area which is the larger portion of this level and it's got a significant selection of glass I think there are some chimneys there some crystal depression glass and uh, the sign said it was just a whole shelf of corn flour. Some more of the little statuary. The whole center section they ha it includes some furniture up here. I think some of the furniture downstairs was also uh, available to, for purchase. Some silver, silver plate most likely, silverware in any case. Uh, silver serving pieces so this is just a scan around the room yeah on this visit I saw a uh, small library desk Some other nice chairs were there as well, a banker's light. Those, some of those are contemporary. The old ones had the, the green glass reflector. White on the inside, green glass on the outside. Oh yes, there's a nice little serving piece with the red inserts. We're going to look at that in just a moment. You better get a better look at it. There we go. Uh, it's a Manhattan with the red glass inserts. Uh, there's a similar pattern called Broadway. They aren't the same, but they do work with each other extremely well. They may have been made by the same manufacturer but they were not made as part of the same sequence or series. And we have this selection of pink, pink glassware. I suspect that it's also um, depression glass, but some of the depression glass was made up until the 1970s. So we're not talking 30s, 40s, we're talking a very long production life. Sometimes the colors only existed for certain certain years, often the later years. Here's that ceramic that we saw earlier. Uh, well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. We would appreciate if you give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe would be nice. And if you want to be notified of the next video, click on the bell. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye-bye.